So I am the mother, mm -hmm. the dung beetle. Pleased to meet you. I don't think anybody really knows me. And um, so I have to introduce myself. I would would like to dress as a dung beetle, but I don't know how. I don't know how. I have a garbage bag on myself, right? Okay, um... Okay. So, uh, if, if I didn't um, provide this house, first of all, um, if you and Jimmy live together, probably the cheapest rent you'd be paying is $600 a month, right? Any month. Any month, right? Plus utilities and all the other bills that there are, right? And probably be a crappy place. Okay. California, yeah, you know. <laughs> probably like 2000 Okay, I never complained about money to my kids. Um, okay. And nobody ever really gave a shit about the financial burdens on me, right? Ever. Like you worry about the washing machine. Okay. For, my, for the longest time, I don't even know how long. Decades, but for sure um, uh, when I was in Florida and then for sure whenever Jason and Eric lived here. The septic has been my number one goal, right? The septic. And here, um, anything can be seen in a positive light. Almost anything. I, um, doesn't matter what happens, it's how you look at it. Um, that's not, I wouldn't say across the board because there are things that would be so negative that I wouldn't be able to deal with it. And, you know, Dominic spins me for a loop, Patrick has spun me for, you know, et cetera. So, um, I just want to go over some things that I've done. Whatever the things I mentioned, we're going to translate it into money, what it would cost. So, um, while I was here, um, I built a line around the house, a fire line, because that's always been my goal, too. And, and I stuck, uh, I was got stuck by stickers, and I got bit by bugs every day. I was covered with sugar bites. I mean, every day, daily, daily, daily. Uh, but I built this fire line in the house for two years. Um, it's worth much more than I'm saying, but I'm I'm underplaying things. So let's say that's worth two thousand dollars, right? Okay. All right. Um, gardening. Uh, I don't know what that's worth, but um, I produce some food, um, and at least about a third of the piggy's food, right? Okay. So in my life, some of the things I did is I paid for this house twice. Um, I replaced the roof, the water pump. I replaced the entire bathroom twice and the floor four times. Mm, I don't know. There was one time a balloon payment that we were going to have to make. And even when I bought this house, I didn't know how we were going to make it. It was 3000 something, right? The day it was due, I'm sitting there going, um, God, how am I going to make this payment? I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to, you know, what am I going to do? And I'm going to be out of the house, whatever. And then suddenly I had the money. I don't know how. I can't remember how, right? Something like, okay, something like that happened the other day in a way when it was with um, with Jimmy. He had to get a car. He wanted to borrow some money, $6,000, although he wouldn't be qualified for that. Um, I didn't know how we were going to do that. Didn't know how, didn't know how. Oh, yeah. Why don't, you know, why don't we ask ask you to go ahead and do that? And you did, and it benefited everybody. Everybody, right? To me, that was a miracle. Um, just like this balloon payment. I can't remember how this balloon payment happened, but I do remember that the, that when you got the money, Jimmy had his car. Bill drove by at the right time. It was just like miracle after miracle. Neither one of you were acknowledging as such. I handed Jimmy 1500 which made me only owe him 500 And um, I think he said thanks. I'm not sure. But then two days later, you guys, um, you know, tore into me. No, that's unacceptable. All right, so I had the entire electricity downstairs fixed. And when Donnie was here, he fixed the entire electricity up here. It didn't cost anybody anything. Because, um, yeah, he was my boyfriend at that time. But he also did five other things, not as major as electricity. He patched up many holes because um, the basement was crumbling. He just patched up a lot of that. And um, so he did a lot of things. And... Yeah, yeah, he, he just did. Um, okay, um, Donnie. 
how he grounded the house. When he did those, those things, I mean, and even whenever I had the electricity replaced downstairs, Donnie and the other guy that replaced downstairs would tell me how close we were to fire at both those times. And, you know, it's a good thing you did this because blah, blah, blah. So they were necessary things. All right. Um, I started an account for you years ago. You bought two cars with it. Okay. Let's see. There are things. Oh, maybe there are some things that didn't work out that all of us Those things are the exception, and, you know, they happen with everybody. And while I was in Florida, Jimmy called me twice, one year to replace the water pump, more than $1,000, which I did without complaint, without question. The next year, Jimmy called me again to replace the water pump, and I did it again, right? I didn't complain, right? Um, let's see. I was going on vacation in the following month, both times, because I was taking a fall vacation, right? So, um, so my vacations, both times, had to be, you know, more roughing it than what it would have been with if I had the thousand, but it's a lot. So I, I bought us a thousand dollars worth of um, survival groceries sent to here. Um, yeah. Oh, when you were overdrawn, right? For the bank, Patrick, remember? With your IRA. Yeah. So with the only time, like Patrick has probably given me three hundred dollars free and clear throughout our lives, right? So that's fine. I need it when I did. But I never asked Patrick for his favor. Anytime you need help, Mom. Anytime, anytime, anytime. And then finally, you needed help. So that's when I asked him. And of course, he played that stupid game with me. But I, I kept on his case. <laughs> and we got the money for you to, um, yeah, to do that, right? Because, yeah, so anyway. I do appreciate that. Thing. Yeah. No, I know, I know. I know. I just got to go over thousand things that I and, and I appreciate that you appreciate that. Okay. So Jason and Eric, I, I agree that you could have really gotten mad at me at that time. However, thank God. Thank God that they were here when they, they, they did. Because guess where we would be at right now if they weren't here? Do you, can you do you know? Um, I guess our water would be permanently fucked up. I, our, we would be we, up to our ears and shit, right? None of us would do that for any amount of money. I asked Jimmy the other day, would you do that for 10000 No, neither would I. We would be up shit creek. That thing needed to be done. And um, when, I'm, when I'm going over these things, I mean, suddenly I, I forgive Jason for everything he did because what a miracle it was that he was here. And Derek wouldn't have done it without Jason here. But, but again, they stayed with it for days. They drilled through it. This house would be unlivable. And I have no idea who to hire to do something like that or how much to pay them because no, nobody wants to do it for any price. There is. There is. Oh. This is probably the only time I'm going to do this. Okay. But it's just really weird to me that before they lived here, you know, yeah, the water pump, I guess I guess there was problems. Absolutely. They were, they were so... We didn't know that it was clogged up like that. But it definitely was. Just, okay. okay, never mind. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I was going to make an observation that it's it bullshit, so go ahead. They did make, Jason did make the bathroom functional again, but then, you know, you know, so it's not functional at this time because there's, I mean, we've got two things. we got the shit thing and we got to um, undo the plugs, which Eric would never do um, after Jason left, especially. Da, 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 da. They did a few other things, and you know they weren't all disasters. Um, they were, they were. I can't, I just can't remember all the details from any anybody's um, good works. Okay. Oh, when they were here and they needed uh, materials, as I had to tell Jimmy because he supplied some of the materials for. I supplied eighty percent of all they needed for from my dumpster diving stuff, right? Um, eighty percent of anything they needed or asked me for, I supplied it to them. Okay. So that's money if it was money, but it's not. That's true. All right. Then other things. Um, yeah. So that was like whenever I tried to keep Jason from hustling Jimmy. I'm sure he hustled Jim somewhat anyway. And I lost my food stamps one time because something Jason did, but I didn't even mention it because I was just so bummed about it. And I'll go ahead and make my one observation. Mm -hmm. The weirdest thing about when Jason and Eric were living here right. is that before they lived here, we had water problems once a year. And when they lived here, 
our water was shut up every other week and I was constantly schlepping over to Casey's to buy water because they wouldn't text me yeah. whenever they were turning off our water. And after they left here, we've had maybe one water problem since then. Eric came back and stayed here a week. And in the week that he was here, after he left and came back, within a day, our water was shut off. He again. kept turning it off. I don't know why. He wouldn't even admit to it. He did. I don't know why. But he kept turning it off. But it didn't cause a... The whole water thing, I can't explain at this time. Right. But um, that, that, but that, he that, was turning it off. That was just the weirdest. The weirdest part of that whole experience is that it, I, I, it, it, it's, it, it just feels like it couldn't have possibly been coincidence. You're right. He was turning it off all the time, and we were having water problems all the time before they lived here once a year. Yeah. And when they lived here, every other. Week. They also um, Jason also fucked up the water. Yeah, you yeah, know, they, he they, did. I think they will, that there was a lot Jason of instances where they were purposely sabotaging it, us okay. to make themselves useful. I, I can, okay, want me to, um, there, there were, okay, all right. Are you, oh, I'm sorry, are you done? No, that was it. Okay. Just the, the fact that those two things happened at the yeah, same time. Yeah, um, whenever, uh, um, I even actually, I made a tribute to Jason because um, when doing this stuff, um, I start thinking of, it's a good thing. Jason... Well, it purposely, it seems like purposefully sometimes. Mm-hmm. He was sabotaging. I don't think he the fact that you acknowledged that, you know, so yeah. it wasn't the, all 100% a good thing no, that they no, were here. No, 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 absolutely. That's all I no. wanted to hear. Uh-huh. I never said that. Okay. No, no, Jason, when they left, they had to leave. Yeah. They, it was ridiculous. They, they were, they were, they were No, they got, because of the drugs, right? Yeah, they kind of they really... They unlivable. I... I downplay how much they affected me. I feel as though they ruined my life. I feel as though they permanently mm. discolored things for me and how I see the world and how I see people. Okay, well, tell you what. Let me go ahead and finish my whole thing and you can... That's, all, that's all I have to say. Like, they permanently okay, but, but affected the, but me. But the thing the is, negative. I think that you're going to be okay. I'll be okay. I'm, I'm recovering, you know, now right. that I'm not No, 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 and I don't ever want them so, to. So, Never do I want them to, so but I just and, want and, to say what I, a miracle it was. I feel a lot better that you... Oh, that you honey, I am not... I've never been 100% pro of them, anything, and especially when they started fucking up, I could tell. Yeah. And it was bugging me too. It, and and I, who got the biggest brunt of everything was me, mm-hmm. right? Trying to protect them. They never turn off the light, you know. And Jason does fuck things up if he if he's on him too. He just does. But, but they fixed that thing because he fucked it up and they fixed it. So yeah, I some was, people don't even fix the things they fuck up. So credit work. No, I know. My I know. friend David, who um put put the bathroom together one time, fucked up my stove. He, he clipped something on my stove and he fucked up my stove and it took years. It took like a decade before I replaced the oven. I mean the oven, right? And I've also replaced the stove, by the way. I think that went out on its own. Can I just tell you one thing about that stove? I'm go on. One time I'm sitting there oh, cooking the stove and I hear a big pop while I'm cooking, right? And um, it was my pan and there was like a little hole inside my pan, like something shot out from the stove. Mm. And... You know, apparently it was very powerful and dang- it was a little, like a little tiny baby size hole that yes. shot through my pants. Cell phones do that sometimes, I hear. Huh. Cell phone batteries will just explode like I've that. I've never heard so, of that. Yeah, doll life's dangerous. I could have died if my head was on. <laughs> anyway. All right. So, okay. So, yeah. when I went, I went to Florida, when coming back, it's always disappointing. Um, but I try not to say anything because I want to be happy all the time, right? Cockroaches, when Sam and Ashley were here. Bam, I took care of them, and we haven't had a problem since, right? People get things fumigated all the time, which costs thousands, but diatomaceous earth really is my secret. But it's still, it's a it's a bummer. And, of course, Ashley and Sam never, never wanted to clean, um, so they didn't. Mm-hmm. And I saw my room after they left. It was just teeming. It was literally Yeah, and you still have holes in because we never fix those, right? Or did Donnie ever fix I think them? I, I think I did spackle. Like, I was going to paint my room, so I did spackle. Well, just last month, I finally finished um, getting rid of the eyesore in the hallway from where we had holes, right? First, the holes were patched up by Donnie. Then I went over it with some kind of something and didn't cover it. It was just a month ago that we finally that I finally made their damage. So it's just like damage takes time to, you know, because there's so many other things to do. When we first moved here, that window was broken. And 
everything else was functional, right? I have never gotten to that window because it's always been everything else, right? And so, anyway. so um, let's see. So one thing that I asked John, so one thing that I asked John Jimmy for on one of my trips back from Florida was to um, get Raul's stuff out of the storage, and so that cost four hundred dollars. But he made about a thousand dollars on those cards, so it was profitable, right? Um, and besides, we had Donnie to help move, and that and some other guy to help move, and so that was all free and blah blah blah. And just seen done a lot. There's no way I'd be able to actually uh, list them all that because after I talked to Jimmy the other day, I forgot a bunch of them. Yeah. And we got the refrigerator, and it went out recently, like a year ago. And Jimmy said that he'd buy a new one, which is a very noble thing to do. But I, I thought, no, let's fix the one we have. Bill did not want to fix it. He didn't want to fix it. He didn't want. All right, you can hear me. I, I, while he was studying, I started playing some movies, fixing the fridge, and then he started looking at us and he could do it. And I ordered a part for $20, and he fixed it, and Jimmy paid him $100, which is so much easier than getting a fridge. I so, remember that. Yeah. And I had done a lot of things like that. Like when Jimmy got his COVID test, he didn't. He paid them cash because of something with his insurance. So he didn't even want to mess with it and get his money back because he had to make phone calls and shit. So I did those for him and I got his $300 back to him and gave it to him, right? So, and, um, finding you guys' cars, blah, 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 whatever. So, let's see. Uh, so there's that. Anyway, and, and, um, overall with the dumpster diving that I've done, I've probably made $1,500 overall. Like, if I were into selling, I could have made a lot more. I realize my dumpster diving has got out of control, but there's a house I want to build, which, um, yeah, I want to get to that, um, in a little bit, um, about the house, because it's got to be a free house, right? So, and, um, then we had Dominic anyway, and then that's when, yeah. and Ron and Billy, when Ron and Billy was here, they were a pain in the ass, especially at the end, but we made some money. You were able to pay your you know, you were able... I paid Jimmy off for about a half week. He was completely paid off for a half week. And then Rhonda wanted me to take her to hawk her guns again. And I just bought them. But I, when so I had to borrow the money from Jim again to get the guns. And, and then, I, yeah, I woke me yeah. So that was like a week. And then if we had the guns, well, you know, if, whatever. She's just... She that's paid, a, yeah. That's she, about how long I stayed out of debt with Jimmy last time. <laughs> Right, you know, right. I, I got the money from the Roth IRA and I paid them off and then I had to borrow money to get the ball joints fixed because I had already spent the money on getting my tooth and the tires and the the rotation right. and all of that. Yeah. So, so you did a lot of things and it helped you tremendously in your tooth. That's so important. Oh, yeah. That, to me, those that's, that's, you know, way, way, way high up there. So you did a lot of things that you really needed at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, one time I had like, I don't know, he had an absurd amount of cavities, like, I don't know, 10 or something like that. I couldn't believe it, but it just so happened. I had Medicare for one week and we were able to get your teeth fixed in that week. And my wisdom teeth. Oh. Was, I think we also did all four of my wisdom teeth. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And that was a huge bill that I didn't have, them, but I had Medicare for like one week. I should get back on Medicare. Then my coworkers at Little Caesar say I need to sign up for Medicare. That might be Mm. Yeah, I did a lot of things for Ron. Of course, he didn't get it because, and Dominic the same because no good deed goes unpunished. Okay, um, so let's see. I ended up and you're right. Um, when I think about it, when I was growing up, when I was a kid, I don't think I ever heard you mention money. I know. It, it, sometimes you said no, but that was sure. just so that you were telling me no right. sometimes. So right. I had, you know, some concept of not getting everything I want as a kid. You were, everywhere we went, people would give you stuff. I've noticed that, you know, and here's a, here's a free meal or here's a candy or here's a this or... That still carries on at Little Caesars. Uh, like, hey boss, I'm broke. Can I take a pie home? Yes. And then I... Wow. Yeah. Got home and ate that whole fucking pizza. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go on. Um, Bob and Donnie replaced the porch one time right they lifted the house like five times right and it needed it um it i replaced the, the roof it's going to need replacing again the last time donnie was here he cut back some trees oh plus installed the um the uh the, 
the siding thing on um, the uh, the drains. I can't think of what it's called. The things on the side of the house that make the the water drain away from the house. Oh, Absolutely. Shades. No, that's that comes the later. Gutters? The gutters. The gutters. On yeah, the Donnie replaced. Well, you guys didn't have to. Donnie, when he was my boyfriend, he was paying for the supplies even then too. Um, but whenever he wasn't my boyfriend, I was paying for this. I ever have a problem with Donnie? I feel like Donnie was one of the ones that I. Rarely he didn't have had a problem. Pr- yeah, rarely he Donnie went. Donnie and David McBee. I rarely he went into your room one time to fix those holes, and you didn't like that. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Uh, I, I eventually got over that and had. Yeah, yeah, I told you to get over that. <laughs> So, but I was paying them $100 a day, right? And all these things that I'm mentioning, I didn't have any help, right? And I was just a nurse. I didn't make as much as, um, yeah, I didn't make, I, it was hard a lot of times. I took you guys on vacations every year, and usually I went on vacations two or three times a year. Um, I was almost always broke after our big vacations, wondering how I'm going to make the bills. And besides that, I was never late on a bill. And at the beginning, the first time that I paid the house off, I paid double, you know. The second, I, every payment, I paid double, and then I had to refinance it. Kind of lost all that credit, I, I believe. But anyway, I refinanced and paid again, but not double. Just, <laughs> it was weird, you know. So, so they did a lot of, they've done a lot of things. And whether you guys trust them or, I mean, I don't trust either one of them anymore because they went crazy, just like Jason and the other guy. I don't trust either one. But, um... They, while they were normal, while they were semi-sane, they did a lot of things. Okay, I repainted every bedroom in this house at least twice in the hallway. Um, I, I paint, I repainted the porch once, and then Bill repainted it again. Needs, needs it again. But so I mean, a thousand things like that. There's just no doubt that I'm, I'm gonna forget some things. Um, okay, and before I left, the entire house was clean, even the carport. Before I left Florida, right? I left you guys a clean, functioning house, right? With the septic in my mind, knowing that it's going to have to be done some, some day. And, and, and the line around the house, right? And then, you know, I came back, and it was just disappointing, blah, blah, blah. I cleaned the whole house except for the carport. I tried to make the downstairs livable on a couple of occasions. Every time I laid down the carpet, it would flood. i had done that like two or three times, and that just brought the floods. So I haven't done that again, even though there's two carpets that need to be really nice carpets that need to be processed okay so yep I even paid for your friend to uh, do a corner of the cleaning but I only paid her half because she didn't complete it so I was still in Florida caring about the um, situation of the house and I guess I'm bringing up all this because when you get mad you say things that just don't make any sense at all like like I was being all selfish when I did these when I was in Florida anyway returned home and I was bummed because things were cre- a wreck including my room was kind of a wreck my walls were a wreck and um, the glass bottles that you know that I asked you to be real with yeah. of course yep yeah. alright and then it, so I cleaned the entire house until I started to pour painting and then the house got wrecked because it needs constant upkeep and then I got the skinny pigs and um, started dumpster that so I mean I um, yeah. So anyway, I kind of um, got away from it. But what I have realized through all this is that I can't do it all alone. I can't. There's so many. I don't finish projects because I run out of glue. This this floor is almost painted, but I haven't had the glue to finish it. Plus, so many more projects come up. You can look in any direction of this house and find ten projects easily, or I can. But um, so there, it's just endless. But um, many of my projects that I have started are not complete just because I ran out of glue or something like that. So, okay, I paid Jimmy 1500 I mean, even if I paid him, he's not happy. It doesn't make him happy, right? He just wants to be a grumpy butt. And it's just where the negativity comes in. And you, you guys, um, well, all my kids really kind of come from a consciousness of negativity. But that's a, that can be changed by a decision, so I went over the groceries. I did my best to protect you guys from COVID. Um, I had to overcome Jimmy's resistance in that. Uh, everybody got vaccinated, thank God. So even the day before Jimmy got COVID, I was telling him, Jim, even though you got vaccinated, you can still catch COVID and you can still spread COVID. And you know he's blowing me off as usual. I'm like, why are you blowing me off? Blah blah blah. This is your mom. I'm only telling you some, you know, blah, blah, the things I need to. And then the next day, yeah, COVID. But yeah, I mean, nobody remembers the preliminaries really. 
I reminded him the other day. But um, what I didn't have to ask anybody for is any of my medical visits, right? Because let's say, like, if you guys were really supporting me all together, that would be like twenty thousand dollars a year at least. If you guys were really supporting with um doctor's visits and medications, I mean. Thirty, forty thousand dollars I've used during this time, which is one reason why I don't want to go on my medic Medicaid, right? Um, so then we got little Jeff here. I kind of, I kind of filled him in on how nobody listens to me and people blame me, and then he came here and immediately did the same, right? Um, so the the most angry I ever got at all three of you was whenever you guys just all seemed against me, which is totally unfounded. Uh, you know, or a kill my guinea, you know, you know what I mean? Just whatever people make up in their head, because if you come from negativity, people are going to see things like that, which is false. All right, so, but he did give me $200 per month to help with the utilities and change the water pump, paid you guys back. And I was able to get his IRA, which I immediately gave you half of, $500 of, to help Jimmy and your bills. And then whenever I got and whenever I had IR, my IRA, the same thing. Did I get on your case about screwing up with the income tax? No. Did I yell at you about it, um, you fucking up on your uh, thing? No. I did not. All right. So, but he also followed suit with um, picking on me and trying to find fault. And why are you sitting? Why are you laying down? Why aren't you doing whatever I think you should be doing? Blah, blah, blah. But he still did a few good things. Before he got here and while he was here, I, t I kept telling him over and over, this this this. It's a pump. It's the um, septic. It's a septic. This is what we. This is the number one thing we gotta do. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll go back to Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. Um. Yeah, he did the 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 um. The French drain. Yeah. He did the French drain. Part of it. Mm -hmm. Part. Well, he didn't finish. That we could do. We could finish by filling it with rocks and stuff. But and I did a little bit. But we can. There's to everything in the world. Um, he dug the hole. The other guys placed the tube. Eric and Jason, they paid about a hundred bucks for that tube. And I begged Jimmy for a hundred dollars to pay Nicholas. So two hundred dollars went into a thousand, thousands of dollar job, right? And, and none of these things would have been done, but they're all absolutely necessary if it wasn't for, you know, me, right? Um, none of, none of, none of these things would have been done, really. Because <laughs> the house is all about everything is upkeep, everything. And I make sure you guys go to the dentist because your teeth are upkeep, upkeeping. Jimmy taking him every year, kicking and screaming to the dentist. But um, it was, it's also necessary because um, if your teeth go bad, it, it affects your whole system. I'll go all over my hands. Um, okay. So yes, I got that money. Oh, and I'm and now that I got my, most of my procedure ready to go, I am. Um, I applied for. Uh, what Jim, Jeff left, which is uh, 600 something, so that should be um, whenever I you know, get it mailed in. I have the paperwork done, I just gotta mail it now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, um, you know, butter, butter, my bum, there was something else out there. Um, mm, I don't remember, French drain. Okay, mm, I mean, they, they did other stuff, they put that um, anti mold paint on the walls, which was absolutely important. Mm -hmm. I um, didn't even, I supported myself for a full year when I got home. It's already been fucking four years. But I had money until Jason, until Jason, and he hustled me for like about a thousand. Oh well, um, and I, and then I ran out of money shortly after, but that was a year later that I started needing help. Okay, paid for my own food, and I've, I've always been free with the other food too, right? Um, I don't care what you guys eat of mine. I never, I never have. I'm a mom. But, um, so we'll get to that a little bit. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. So I was really, and I had the best attitude anybody who could have gotten a DWI has. And then I started getting bummed because of, you know, the piggies and, and then I lost my, um, nursing license, right? And, and then everybody shunned me, right? Um, to feed a person costs three hundred. Oh, okay, so to feed a person costs three or four hundred dollars per month. When Bill was living here, we calculated that. When Bill was living here, it was little more than three hundred. He was also living here during desperate financial times. I supported him for like three years, right? I didn't like it, but I did. Um, 
and I was even giving them twenty dollars a month, uh, a week allowance, but not not consistently. But he needed at least that much. Um, so so we calculated then it was like about three hundred. So now it's probably three or four hundred a month. So um, so yeah. So I'm gonna say here I said Jimmy has probably given without. With, you know, without um, me paying him back, two thousand dollars overall for food, and I would say like, um, and I provided a, a couple of meals and some snacks here and there. So I'm going to say if I paid uh, forty dollars a week, let's say I, I did throughout all this time with food stamps, without this or that, this or just for two meals for you and Jim per week, um, and we we calculated that is two thousand and eighty dollars per per year. And if you uh, add it all up together, um, it's uh, $9,280 of what I contributed to just you and Jim for, if it's if we're doing $40 a week is all I paid for you, $9,280 minus $2,000 that Jimmy gave me, $7,280 is what I have contributed for food, for you and Jim only. Okay. And I had food stamps sometimes, so... And I kept losing him over technicalities, but that's anyway. I didn't. I asked for as little as I could from from Jimmy. Um, I didn't even get Botox in the last three years. <laughs> okay, I didn't have to ask for a lot of things because of dumpster diving, shampoo, conditioner, and a lot of supplies. And and I always recognize that you bought supplies, towels, toilet paper. Sometimes I would thank you for those things. I used to buy cheese, but then I know I got I became a cheeseaholic. All right, so. I would ask for money mostly when my piggies ran out of food and then I'd get some more groceries for all of us. Okay, so yeah. And you were abusive throughout. You don't want to call it abuse, but I feel like we need to uh, call it what it is. Otherwise, um, there's just... You don't have any chance on changing. I don't believe I deserved it even once because we haven't even went through... Even if we had went through hard times where Jimmy couldn't make the bill or if he was still working at car especially then probably you know there's just no way that that I deserve be, being screamed at for anything even in the worst of times but we haven't seen any of those times because another miracle is is Jimmy work he was able to carry us through you know and even the last time I talked to him I said I don't believe that Aaron should pay the full amount for um, the bills because I know I wouldn't charge you the full amount if I was you know I think it should be prorated, I said to him. He didn't answer. But you could talk to him about things like that, too. But I, see, and even now, I don't think... If he can carry us, go ahead and carry us. You're doing your best. Wait till you get caught up, and then... You, just, you know, that's what I think. All right. Um, so, anyway, um, let's say that... Let's say that housework... Or, or, and being a cook, and all those things were actual money, right? Because you don't want to... You guys don't... You did. You take out the trash. I reckon. I usually thank you when I. Speak. Um. So I'm in this. I gave myself five thousand a year, but really, as a as a cook and cleaner, slave wages, very rock bottom. I'm, I'm going to give myself ten thousand a year for um, because Jimmy doesn't think housework needs to be done at all, and um, he doesn't really understand preventative maintenance, right? Um. Okay. Housework absolutely needs to be done, and most people can see a need for it. It needs to be done sometimes. <laughs> um, and preventative maintenance, it's so much better to, to get it going before the big catastrophe hits, you know. Uh, so, so they're both really important. And in doing all, trying to take care of everything that you guys won't do, I realized a couple years ago, about three years ago, that I could not, I can't do it all myself. Even the animals are like a part-time job, which is a lot my fault. But, um, yeah, with or without a job, I cannot do all the things myself. So um, so I need you guys' help. Like today I asked Jimmy to do the light bulb, but there's a, there's a few other big things that I need your help with. Um, okay, so the septic. I, I can't be the only one that thinks of all these things and tries to work them out. You know, you guys need to um, help me figure shit out like this, right? Um, so, now, um, let's... 
let's say that um, I feel like, let's say you guys gang up on me again and we ever, let's say we come to a situation where I'm kicking you out of the house again, right? Well, being the great gal that I am, there is an option that um, you guys could do so that I'm not just kicking you to the street when life becomes intolerable for me. Um, you can help me with my freaking free house that I have all the supplies for. It's not going to be hard. It'd be a fun project that we could all do together if you started giving me one hour a week it would help motivate me to start getting her going and and I'd have you guys for one hour and you can carry on if you want and you can stop if you want all right but if you guys gave me that now Jimmy is just like flat out no but what I'm saying is I know well and, and, and I followed up with him I seeing that if it comes to where I kick you out again you'll you all you have to do is go next door or you can just you know it's going to be a cool enough house for that, is what I'm saying. You know, we wouldn't even be kicking out to the street. Just say, okay, I can't deal with you both as anymore. Go, you know, get on over there, right? Okay, um, and it's going to be. It would be a fun project. It would be something we could do as a family. And and yeah. Anyway, so I was. So there's that. There's stuff in the yard, and I know that you guys didn't do them. Eric and Jason, and or whoever. Many, many, many people wrote destroyed that carport and all the stuff on the side and I've taken some loads out little Jeff was going to help with a lot of that but that never happened um, we need to get some of this junk, like that broken toilet just a bunch of stuff just in and out of the carport, so things like that um, the septic more than anything yep um, so, so some of these things I need help with and if you guys want to um, have this as your house in life if you guys think this is your house or want it to be, then you gotta help me with these things because it's all part of life. Uh -huh. And so, happiness. Whenever you and I turn the corner and we say thank you, God, for making us this far, and, and it's through gratefulness for everything, for everything. You know what I mean? Um, uh, forgiving. Before it even happens, forgive all these people that you think are meth heads, right? Whether they are or not, right? And listening, caring enough to listen to me when I need to talk to you or tell you something because... And I'm only going to do it an hour a week because I think that it might be a good idea what we're doing right now, keeping our conversations down, letting me talk one hour. I think this is a good idea for now. Um, then there was a lot of things that I brought up to Jimmy, like for his cremation... Whenever, um, I, I, when Patrick paid for it, that was such a miracle. That, that was such a huge miracle for me. And, um, when Jimmy was with Patrick that day, I said something to him about money. Like, don't forget, Jim, I need $108 for my, um, fines this, this month. And he said to Patrick, see, this, I got chocolate all around. This is why, he said, this is why I can't buy, buy a new car. Right, and I snapped something at him. Not even really mean, not even bad. Right, I just you know, oh no, it is. You know, I don't remember what I said. It wasn't that bad. And Patrick comes to his rescue. Right, oh, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Blah blah blah. Then later on that night, I find out that um, Jimmy's gonna pay half of the cremation. And I said no, <laughs> Jim. I said no. You need to help me with this with this septic thing this is what we got to do and Patrick said he would pay for it it was right that Patrick paid for it it was just it was a great thing it was a miracle it was a great thing but I stopped Jimmy and I you know saved him a thousand dollars right there which he doesn't get it you know he doesn't get it and hang on to it and appreciate it that's, I, that's a weird move on his part I don't understand because he's he feels, yeah. he feels obligated to help with Jeff's passing and everything like that but uh, he, you know he was he, we were actually here it's you know? not so weird because this is how it happens with me. You know, people give me like no credit for me being a mother is an, the most unsung thing you could ever be. You know, and I got I've gotten very little just even thank yous for anything, right, or acknowledgement for anything. That's why we're having this talk. And of course, with Patrick, I mean, he'd, with all of you guys, you'd be raging at me, and nobody comes to my rescue, no matter how big the rage, no matter how wrong it is. Nobody helps me. Nobody ever comes to my room, except for me, right? Except for me. I, I stick up for myself, which is why I'm sticking up for myself with a pinch of police, man. You can imagine how alone one must feel in the world at being a dung beetle. 
Except I just want to say one more thing before I really try to um, wind it up is that um, during this time of trying to explain to you, I can't explain all of them because there's just been so many. But all the things that I've done for you, and you guys in turn, I, I see what you've done. I always see that, right? Um, I've really so much come to appreciate myself, right? And women in general. But I've really come to appreciate myself more than I, I ever have in my life in these last few years because I'm going, wow, I've really done a freaking lot, you know? And yeah, I've, I've given you guys my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's the point I guess I'm trying to make clear. Whenever I was suicidal, yeah, Jimmy stopped me from ever being suicidal, his birth. I never had that thought ever again, right? Um, but for a long time I wanted to die young, die young, die young. And then um, I just figured, well, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to live to be 40 or 50, but there, and there I was. So I have to come up with a new reason to live. And that was to help you guys make it through this life, to be there for you when you're, you know, throughout your life when you die. And um, I, so therefore, like, if you die, and I mean, if, if I die first, which I'm not trying to, I'm trying to die after you guys, then um, if I die first, then I don't want it to be just like, oh, yeah, well, she, she never helped, and she, you know, and, you know, whether you guys grieve really a lot from for my passing or not, I, I want to be somebody that at least you appreciate for the time that I was here. And you, you say, well, you know, she really did a lot, and she really tried, and she really did her best, which is the credit I give to everybody on the planet, that they do their best. And you agree. I'd be bawling my eyes out for months. I, I, if what? If you died. I wouldn't have had hope for a long time, I'm sure. Oh, see, okay, well, that you know, I believe you. You know what? Because I know it would be a little... I, well, maybe you would, Aaron. Um... I think that I think that Jimmy would be almost unfazed, and I've told him that he hasn't a couple times recently because we're having these talks too. He has not denied it. I know Jimmy loves me, but kind of like as a distant relative. But he doesn't get all these things either. Cause, Every, everything's distant for Jimmy. Right, right. But but you both are kind of um, you guys have a lot come. You both kind of come from a negative place and you both um can't fight fairly at all but that'll be another discussion i think i'm pretty much done for now other than there's a lot that that i, I i've missed for sure um anyway because yeah it's all about you guys always my whole life and you guys saved my life too a- right giving me purpose to live twice uh, upon your births upon your births you guys were all oh, Difficult, difficult children. Jimmy was the hardest before Dominic. But I never, ever, ever felt so lucky in my entire life as when you guys were babies and, and throughout long, 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 you know. It, I just felt so lucky. And, oh, there was something else I wanted to say about that. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, yeah. Before you were even born, I said, when this child is born, I'm going to be present through every second of this child's life. I'm not going to wish that you were older. I'm not going to wish it. I'm going to be present. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to love you every second. And guess well, you wished I would stop growing up so much. You know, right. You know, you know. And all of you. Um, oh, yeah. And to every kid that you have is like buying a small house. You know what I mean? And I even did the math on that in another page. So, I mean... That's a million dollars before inflation. <laughs> yeah. Per year. Yeah. It, it is. And, you know, like... But I, but I did it for... It's, it's on another page. I think. From the time Jimmy was born in 1983 to the time and... That was, of course, less than when Patrick was born to the 18... Well, no, only 10 years, because his grandparents stole him. <laughs> so, and then, the, you know, I did it fairly, but it's still a freaking lot, bless you. Hey. Um, let me see. It. Um, and that's it. Uh, oh, I did. I appreciated every second, Jim. Every second, and I never stopped loving you. There was, of course, one or two... Oh, yeah. There was one or two... <laughs> well, I didn't make the same thing. I didn't make the same thing. But I did appreciate you um, throughout... I, I kept that uh, that promise to myself before I came here. I was going to love Jim, um, Wendy and uh, Jeff as much as I love my own kids. So I really tried, and I and I think you know I accomplished that the best I could. <laughs> you know, so uh, I'm going to get back to uh, making dinner. <laughs> Thanks for this time. You can talk now if you want. I'm just. Uh, 
I've just, I've been letting things affect me too much. I've been letting, I've been chewing my cud too often in the past, it really especially in the last two years after the Rhonda and Billy stuff and after the, 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 the Eric and Jason and stuff and, you know, the armadillo and the fucking, and then losing my job. It's, it's, it's felt like it's just been piling on and it's been darkening my outlook. That's what I meant by when I was saying like Jason and Eric and my life. Even that's melodramatic. They didn't ruin my life. They broke one Nerf gun the whole time they were here. You know, that's not that bad. I, I probably broke more of your glass bottles than <laughs> they, 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 they al- caused you al- stress. altered them several times, but like, I don't even care about the Nerf guns anymore. And I blame them for that, but it's really my fault because like you said, it's upkeep. It's just a matter of upkeep. And even the things that you like to do in life are upkeep. Everything. And that sucks because I'm a fucking lazy person. I'm a fucking bare minimum You should guy. get on Adderall, Aaron. You know why? Because at least at least something you just should. Because I mean I I want to get on Adderall and I'm actually trying to um get on Adderall. But um and if I do then you know you don't have to go to the doctor and everything you know, you know I'll share my Adderall with you but um but yeah it will help at least it helps you and Jimmy like clean your room or do a chore right when we had it before it would help you and it would actually if you feel like a lazy bastard because when I got home from vacation guess what I felt like a lazy bastard I didn't want to yeah so um so I get it and um, And I'm sorry I'm sorry I've been letting I've been letting everything affect me and I've been doing the abusive behavior of taking it out on you and letting everything that you do affect me too and getting irritated I have too many things all the fucking time. I'm a natural skate but goat for everybody. That's why I'm a dung beetle. I wasn't just a dung beetle after this arrest. I've been a dung beetle my whole life. Mm-hmm. I'm a natural scapegoat. And I'm sorry that I'm so... I'm so I don't want you to feel like I don't appreciate you, Mom. I do appreciate you. I appreciate... You get it sometimes you until you get mad at me. And, and then I forget everything. I forget the fact that you've never mentioned money. I forget the fact that, you know, that... Supported you for 18 years and trying to give you a house. And you, tried, <laughs> and, you, and you tried to back our decisions even when they were bad decisions. Even whenever I didn't agree let with you, them, I still let, us, let you have whatever. We let us make our decisions and, and we haven't been doing the same for you and that sucks. I'm just, I'm just want you to know that I've been here all this time when you say that you need to come back to us or we need your presence. I've, I'm here and you know that whenever you want... You want to talk about anything? I'm more than willing to listen. Um, yeah, I've always, I, and I've always been. It's hard to learn how to listen, but it's so important that. Um, and it's hard to learn how to talk. It's hard to learn how to talk mm-hmm. without upsetting somebody, without hurting their fucking feelings. It takes years for men to learn how to talk right, and it takes decades for them to learn how to talk to women right. <laughs> Men can talk to other men all the live long days. Hey, sports! Because they listen. Tits, beer, that's it. And and then we'll listen to other women, even other men, even though even if they're just speaking bullshit, but not necessarily to another woman, especially if the woman is kind of a good woman. I have seen the best women be completely rejected from their kids. Right, the best women that I know. Of course, it happens to those aren't the best. But like Rhonda. <laughs> yeah. Rhonda's a good example of one who rightfully, you know. Yeah. And she would never think but so. But she's not the, she's not the average. No, she's beyond the average. Yeah, you're right. And, and but but she still has Billy because nobody's really reported her except, yeah, well, the only person I reported to was after she reported me to that, that company because that just sucks. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we could have really gone down for that if you hadn't had the pee. This lady named Ida that Lorena used to take care of, because Lorena's that kind of girl. She's just, she was, she was in a wheelchair. She was like, um, just her personality, bubbly and happy and wonderful. And, 
Uh, she was just somebody that you want to be whenever, if you're ever in that unfortunate situation, that she could still be happy in her situation. And Lorraine took care of her when she was died. She, she had brain cancer, right? And I took care of her too when she was done, because she was at Lorena's house, so I took care of her during the night shift when I was there. And um, Lorena talked to uh, her sons. Uh, she said that her mom's dying. This is the last chance to see her. Nope, they didn't want to have anything. Do you know what she did to us? Well, Lorena could care less, and neither could I, right? Because... There's nothing she could have possibly done that, you know, there's... <laughs> that show that I keep telling you about, that shows like the real Hollywood, but with anthropomorphic animal creatures, Bojack Horseman. Uh -huh. There's a whole episode where he does a... Oh, the obit not the obituary, but where you speak at a funeral. Mm -hmm. where you oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. I can't he, think he of it. He does that, but not the soliloquy. I know what you're talking about. Requiem. Um, Requiem, isn't it? Something no, like that's a song. That's oh. a song I'm thinking of. Amadeus, I just watched Amadeus. <laughs> anyway, oh, I love Amadeus. He does this whole speech about, you know, how terrible his mother is and everything like that. Mm. And he's so mad at her that he puts her intentionally into a shitty home. And she's getting, like, Alzheimer's real bad. Mm -hmm. Like, she thinks she's her seven-year-old self with almost the entire episode. Yes. And then at the very end, she finally realizes that it's her son that she's talking to. Bojack, is that you? Where are we, Bojack? And instead of saying something heartless, he says, like, you know, we're outside and the stars are twinkling. And he actually says something nice. And she can't fucking tell what the fuck's going on around her. She just says, and we're eating ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. He's like, how does it taste, Mom? And she's like, it's so delicious. Uh, and I cry uh, when I watch that episode because he could have been cruel at that time. Yeah. But he left her with that one last shred of happiness instead in the one moment that he recognized her because that's what you're supposed to do. That's, yeah. That's, that's what he did the thing that he should have done in that very last... He still fucking left her there in that I, home and she died a couple months later, but... I remember a show that that this black woman gave gave birth to a light child, right? Mm. And the light child, um, she she uh, did a lot of things in her life, like yeah. bad things. Go ahead. Right? Um, being a stripper. Um, no, that was a stripper. Anyway, things like that. She just kind of ran amok, but she hated it that she was half black, and so she was always her, her mother's good woman, you know, blah blah blah. She, but she was always like getting her mom out of her life because she just hated it that she was half black, right? And so she goes through this whole life with this, and the mom just doing everything mothers do with pure love, and then the mother dies at the very end, and, and the daughter comes to her funeral and and just um, runs up to and hugs hugs the coffin, and she's just crying and crying. Cause, because her mom did die without the, um, yeah, without the, without the closure, yeah. So it's just like, this, um, oh, they're done. Yeah, I didn't make the rest of dinner, but um, I was gonna make something. Go ahead, have, have one, have I'm one. A, I'm about to have to leave anyway. Yeah, go ahead, have Thank it. You. Go ahead. Hey, Jimmy, gonna... what's a funeral speech called? What's it called when you give the speech about the dead person at the funeral? It's not a requiem. That's a song. It's not. 